I'll tell you so something to use for we me. I've been told to stay in and I'm no longer free. But let's just go on or I'm not sure at all. Since I've a virus so hard off my mum, I'll take her word for it and do what I'm told. Stay out in the garden and be as good as gold. But when the lockdown is lifted and stay in the near us, I'll tell you something, Petal, you'll not see me for dust. A bit of fun there from Amari, but words that I'm sure a lot of us can relate to. But at a time like this where there's been so much change and there's a lot of uncertainty, just how are children really managing? My name's Rachel and I am seven. I am Holly and I am seven. <laughs> my name is Jacob and I am eight. Hi, my name is Ethan and I am ten years old. Hi, I am Jessica and I am eight years old. My name's Amari and I am seven. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 What do you know about this coronavirus? I know about that you need to stay safe and stay home and you need to wash your hands because we don't want to spread germs over the planet because it gets everybody sick. I remember hearing on the radio though, like in China the coronavirus deaths have been rising up and then it's spreading a lot and then I remember the first person in Scotland had it and I was kind of like, oh no, this is going to lead to something. I was worried that we were going to get it. Yeah. And I was also a bit worried that my mum was going to get it because she has lupus. What's the worst thing about lockdown? Well, the worst thing I had was my dad doing my haircut. <laughs> oh, so he forgot to take the guard off and he um, went right through it with the guard on and it made a big line of my whole hair. So then he had to make it me bald. <laughs> Are you missing your friends? Yeah, everyone knows that I love you. In Granny and Papa, because we never see them. Because yeah. they're up in Inverness. I miss my family. I miss your family. And my baby cousin Tessa was five times door down for me. How have you found this not being at school? I like it because normally in school you would have to put your hand up and wait for about ages for the teacher to come if you need help. But like you can just sit in the kitchen table and you can just ask your mum or dad to help you. What do you say to your friends who might be worried? Um, we're going to get back together soon so they don't need to worry. I would say don't worry, all you need to do is stay in the house and, and just, if you want to, can, you can go out for walks. What are you looking forward to most when lockdown's finished? I would like to hug my baby cousin. Hug yeah. yeah, get my friends over, have a, yeah. go on the jacuzzi. If somebody in years to come had never lived through this like you guys have, what do you think you'd tell them about it? Got like the world wars and all that when people didn't get to see each other and it's kind of like proud them in this kind of period to kind of be go down in, going down in history, but I wish it wouldn't happen. I'll be out in my bike, wasn't passing the street. As you're going to the pub, I'll get something to eat. No be long new to it all back out there. Me playing, you drinking, it's all after chair. The end.